Hi, welcome to Wednesday's Word with Uncle Tim. I'm Uncle Tim, and today's word is about unintended consequences. And actually, this is going to be a three-part series, starting today with different stories to illustrate my point. This first story is just kind of a silly story. It's not true. But the next two weeks, I will be telling true stories that have some real, true, serious consequences. So let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a king, and this king loved cheese. I mean, he really loved cheese. So he hired all the best cheesemakers in the land to come and make cheese for him so that he could eat cheese all the time. As time went by, the mice got wind of this and started moving in to the castle with the king and started eating all of his cheese. Now the king did not like this one bit. So he gathered all of his wise men together and wanted them to come up with a solution. So they did. Their solution was to bring in cats. So they brought in lots and lots of cats. And sure enough, it worked. The cats chased the mice away. So once the cats had chased all the mice away, the cats decided they were just going to go ahead and stay in the castle. And so the mice were gone, but now the castle was overrun with cats. Well, this got old really quick to the king. So he called his wise men back together and said, okay, we need a solution. Get rid of the cats. So they put their heads together and decided they would bring in dogs. So they brought in lots and lots of dogs. And sure enough, it worked. The dogs chased the cats away. But the dogs decided they wanted to stay in the castle. So now the castle was full of dogs. Well, the king didn't like this one bit. He had gone from mice to cats and now dogs. So again, the king called together his wise men and had them come up with a solution. This time their solution was to bring in lions to get rid of the dogs. So they brought in lions. And sure enough, that worked. Away went the dogs. But now the castle was full of lions. The king said, this is absolutely no good. Can't have all these lions running around the castle. So called the wise men together again, said, all right, solve this. So their solution was to bring in elephants. So they brought in elephants, lots of elephants. Sure enough, the elephants chased the lions away. But now the castle was full of elephants bumping into things, tearing stuff up. What a mess. So the king called his wise men together once again. I'm not sure why he hadn't fired them by this point, but he called them all together and said, okay, we need to get rid of these elephants. So the wise men got together and came up with a solution. The solution was to bring in mice. As we all know from watching cartoons when we were children, elephants are afraid of mice. So they brought in mice and away with the elephants and the mice moved back into the castle with the king. So the whole point of this is that when you think you have a problem and you try to solve it without looking at the consequences of what your solution is going to be, there may be all kinds of unintended consequences that come along with that decision. Just like the king, he went from mice to cats to dogs to lions to elephants. So he went from a very small problem to a very big problem. And in the end, he decided that the small problem he started with was really a small problem and not that big of a deal. So remember that the next time you need to make a decision. Try to think of what are the possible consequences of that decision and could your choices actually make things worse instead of better? Well, that's this week's word. Stay tuned. The next two weeks, there will be some true stories that have some really harsh consequences. Thanks for listening and see you next time. Bye.